which is essential to culture. But there won't be any culture if our democracy is destroyed. Hundreds of students are now at Willow Run, and the sound of their riveting is like the sound of gunfire. A finished bomber is the sum of more than a million different parts. Willow Run, unique among war plants, makes every part, including the nerves of the bomber. Here, the lady of the clothesline becomes an expert on electric lines. When she was a child, it was her little brother who dreamed he ran a crane. Now, brother is over there, and sister, who left a job in a beauty parlor, runs the crane and buys plenty of bonds from the man's wage she earns. A jigsaw is no puzzle to a woman who knows her sewing machine. Cutting the plexiglass for a bombardier's enclosure is as easy as cutting Susie's new apron. On a template with steam to make a flawless bubble of the plastic crystal, they can shape it in six minutes and maybe say a prayer for the boy who will sit in the nose of the plane and burst the bubble of world tyranny from behind this one, emerging beneath fair and competent hands. And now the six minutes are up, and the windshield is as fit for the bombardier's clear eyes as it is stout to buffet the terrific winds a bomber creates in its flight. Forty percent of fuselage workers at Willow Run are women but the goal of a liberator an hour can't be reached until at least 20% more are added to take the places of inducted men. <laughs>